Hello, my name is Brianna Fitch, and this is Discussion Board. The first question I asked, define ethos, pathos, and logos. Well, ethos is the credibility to a speaker's words. Basically, that is like their expertise. Can they trust you? Is this from, is this based on experience? Then they could trust you based on, say, like the degrees you have or the experience you have. Pathos is appealing to emotions. So if you wanted to say a speech and you wanted to give basically like stories, it'll be appealing to emotion because maybe they will feel for you and understand where you're coming from when you talk about a certain speech. Logos is facts and things like facts, statistics, things you can bring that are research-based, fact-based, and not opinion biased. The same question asked about Mary Fisher's and her speech on HIV. I feel like her speech used ethos, pathos, and logos, but basically because she had it, she knew what she was talking about, and she basically gave out warnings like it's very serious and it's something that should be, uh, it's something that spreads fast, so you should be cautious at all times. She also brought up the fact that no matter what your background is, old, young, black, white, etc., etc., anybody can catch it, and it's spread based on sexual contact the third question asks which would be a good would ethos pathos or logos be a good topic for a persuasive speaker my bad um i would probably say for a persuasive speaker i probably say it i would probably have to say between ethos and pathos because Persuading is like you're trying to get somebody to do something. So it'll be like, it'll be ethos because if you're credible for what you're saying and you have the expertise and the skills, then people will probably trust you and be like, oh, okay, then I'll do it or I'll listen. Pathos because if you're appealing to emotions, they'll be like, oh, I understand where they're coming from, et cetera, et cetera. And they might be able to connect with you on a deeper level into how you can be a persuasive speaker. This is something that I would say is very in between because, I mean, it could also be logos because if you come with facts and they research and it's like, oh, that's true, then they could be. But I feel like for a persuasive speaker, it'll have to be like either ethos or pathos because those are more appealing to emotions and credibility based on yourself to appeal to an audience. Thank you.